Now, in literature review, we act what we actually do. In literature review, we try to identify the surrogated literature. Surrogated literature in what sense? That is obviously, you know, the idea on which you are doing your research materials must not be available. If the materials are available on your topic, the, your very purpose of research will become null and void. No, there is no need to go for the research. So what we do, we try to identify the surrogated literature, we try to identify the related literature, we try to find out all those literatures having the affinity towards your, 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 your topic. And this is the most important thing is that we always try to see that is how our topic is related with the existing knowledge that already been already have been generated and and in this perspective what is rather emphasized so in literature review there are two categories of or thoughts one thought is chronological arrangement of documents and second one chronological arrangement of documents or ideas Okay, not ideas rather, I have seen most of the cases people are rather doing their literature review and they are stating that one according to X, this is this, then second paragraph according to Y, then according to Z, a long list of that one. So whatever they collected, they are saying that one, this is one. Second thing, second idea of literature review, which is the crucial one, which is the most important one, which is relevant for research as well as any kind of higher studies or intellectual studies that is idea assimilation that is the most important the idea assimilation what is the idea assimilation so very simple sense idea assimilation is that suppose you got one of your article in the year 2017 in the year 2017, in any of the issue of any volume of a journal, you got one article where that concept, the concept that treated there, the concept or the theme, focal theme treated in that paper, is having the relevance, is having some bit of relevance with your topic under study. Now, if in 2001, in January, you got another article in the same tune, same theme, same focal point, I mean the same thing, by it by different author, publish a different article with some additional data, with some additional comments, with some additional thing. Now see, these two papers are having the relationship. In cytometrics or bibliometrics, we usually call that one as coupling. So these two papers are having some bit of coupling, bibliographic coupling. So in coupling, two papers uh, should be, must be there, but here the single paper is there. So it's not a coupling or so rather it can say that one, the matching. So cap coupling is when one particular paper or rather two particular papers are citing two same references in each of it. We can tell that one, they are bibliographically coupled. So this is bibliograph bibliographic coupling. This is the concept of web metrics. Well, not web metrics, that's the bibliometrics. Now, you see what I told you in 19, 2009, 2017, one paper, idea same. In 2021, one paper, idea same. Now, if you arrange this one chronologically, two same concepts, the same two same concepts of two papers will be kept in different places. So your task is the idea assimilation that is clubbing these two papers. The idea of these two papers must be clubbed in a single place. And you have to rephrase, paraphrase this one like this way. In 2000 or rather, the concept of research, theory in research was, con the concept was stated or was add the empirical research or hypothetical empirical research or hypothetical research 
may have some kind of controversies, but this is not the core, but there might be something more. Bracket that name. And then you are again writing that one, which is further extended by, or which is further extended in the article published in 2021. And then you are writing. So now you see, in a single paragraph, in a single phrase, you are interlinking two related concepts together, but you are not, it's not overlapping, you are not jumping, you are clubbing the ideas together. And once the ideas are rather clubbed together, you will see that one, that is, you will get one coherent structure of the ideas. And at the same time, you can identify that on what are the different ideas and which idea should go first, then what, then what. So you can create a body of ideas and which will make your literature review as a concrete literature review. So this is what is rather I'm emphasizing. And in that case, whenever you will do this one, what you can write that one in any way. You can write that one in any sentences. That's not a big problem. But this idea assimilation is the biggest thing. So that's why today I am telling you one um, software or I can say you, the name of one software or rather uh, we were using Menle. It's okay, no problem. But at the same time, you can do something like this. So um, let me let me show you the example of it. You will get a very good thing for this one. So um, allow me to present that one. This is not the perspective of literature review, what TB is saying. This is the perspective of literature in respect of research methodology that is to minimize your effort for going that one, but at the same time maximizing that one. As I already stated you, the software literacy is one particular aspect where you have to know how that software can be used in the extended way. That is also a part of software literacy. The software which was, which, which, which was developed for a specific purpose, but if you can use that software for other purposes too. So that will say that one, you are rather not only literate, rather you are going to be a nerd on that particular software because you know how to use the software, the efficacy of the software you can extend. And at the same time, the utility as well as the uh, extendability of the software for your own. So that's sort of why. Uh, I can tell you one thing that is right now I'm presenting you my whole screen so that you can see this is what is for you. So share and I'm sh sharing and here. No, no, no. Go to this place. From right here. Now, it's a trial version. The trial version. A lot of things you have to write. Now, see this. In the second year in my PhD, I invested a copy of a note. And it changed my life. One fellow is saying how it changes life. You will understand that one once you will start using this thing. And most probably I have a note in this machine. So let me search it. This PC. Hmm. And note. And no, I 
oh my god and not excite wheel windows rad you are all right okay then uh let's go for downloading and not no problem it will not take that much of time so mm, go to this one or rather you can go for the setup no mm, let me show you and not because will be confused with if i use all the software three day trial 30 days trial uh free trial shop the course job role department head university of north bengal organization tech academy shilguri state state city india outside north america additional comment submit Okay, job title. Check your email for freedom. Okay, then. Okay, check your email. now we are downloading that one this is a 98 mb download okay so it's downloading and it's over okay mac download clarivet nothing important okay now we downloaded that one go to this portion this one open folder and you will get that one run as administrator and not 20 next i do not have a product key right now so go for 30 day trial next next accept the license custom it's okay now just click this one enter all features direct helper is not important now click next and the system is updating at the same time it will install this one okay done and finish now see where is it end not it's not there okay this is the end not run it mm, this trial version end not change restricted features change to a chat okay we'll change to a feature restricted end not we were in 30 days so till 30 days you can 
run this one. Would you like to activate the full version of that? No, no, no. I do not. Right now, there is. Okay. And here you see file, close library. This is not at all important. What? What? Close library. Okay. Now see, you will get this one, the first one. So whenever this is the N20, you know. So just to go for this one, create a new library and keep that one in any place you want. In this case, it is rather in documents. So I'm keeping that one here and make that one lead rev. You can give your own and ENL. This is the EndNote library proprietary format so keep that one and not library now you will be getting this thing this one so where you have to include all of your data so now just close it and open your browser and in a tab now go to this place where you can go to any of the repositories that you want um, that is suppose J store now J store is there now in J store so you can search so in your case just tell me your topic any of you on which you are doing this one? On which topic you are doing your study? Literature review. Information literacy. Information literacy. So search it. Now here you see, you got that one, 203739 results, okay. So go for the journals only. This will reduce your thing, that is this one, okay. Now you can go for the primary source content, serials, documents, books. Now change this one to serials, that is the journal articles. So it reduced to this one. And if you want, you can go for this one, the range. Restrict the range. Now, select this one. And I think at the end, there is a, no, no select all is there. It's okay, then you have to click this one. Okay, this, then this, then this one, this one, this one. This. Journal article, this one, journal article, this one. Okay, just take that one for all. So there is no all, that is why. So in some of the cases, you will get all. Okay, this is what one place I am rather. So now, this is the export selected citation. Click here. And here you see export RIS file for EndNote, ProSite, Reference Manager, Zotero and Mendeley. Click it. And here you see citation.ris file is there. Show in folder, citation.ris, copy it. Keep 
keep that one in your desktop this is the citation dot risk see the property how many kbs that is 21.9 kb file okay so now just to result now from just store go to really online library and here you write information literacy so now you see that is you got that one that is journals <coughs> okay so now here is the export citation all these things so from 18 94 to 2021 okay so no thanks don't go for this one now you see all these things are here so you can sort it by relevance refine search so anywhere so collections are there so articles and all chapters now select it information literacy abstract export citations now what are the 20 articles are there now select all 20 articles from this place so it's rather very handy for willy you having to select there you will you can select that one in a single place information literacy bridging the gap or like that one so next now it is asking you on which one so go for the risk pro site and direct export export now see this one exported res hold now copy it close it close close it close it paste this one now you got that one that is two files now go to end note and then file go for import and then file choose the file from your desktop first choose citation.res that is end note import all no translation is required and import it import file choose citation res import all import discard duplicates import let me see whether it's okay for the sync configuration sync now no. now another file just import the second one file choose that is what the P this one okay this file I was rather changing that one this was not the end note file so for the first one also so 20 and then go to import again file so reference manager choose the citation risk this so now how many total things you got that one 35 imported references so if you see in the right hand pane if you click this one you will get that one not only the title but at the same time you will get the abstract also all abstract is there here also the title and abstract the title abstract so you will get everything so those are having the abstract is there and those articles where the abstract are absent you can now here is the important thing so now if you want to rectify this one so now you can edit reference and once you will go for the edit reference you will see this one the in menle also you have seen this thing you will see these are rather coming okay 
the keywords information literacy this one and here also the second thing you go for this one that is check it what are the keywords see just in time approach now you see here is also the keywords but here the keyword is absent keyword is absent and in this case see whether keyword is there or not keyword is there so now go to the tools menu and subject bibliography format subject bibliography and in the subject field in this case arrange this one with the help of keyword only not with any other thing see the keywords and list each author separately that is list each keyword separately so now click ok and these are the keywords you will get select all click ok and then you will get this one your annotated bibliography and print preview see this one this is the adolescent and this is the journal or this is the author title as well as the abstract this is the now your task is your task is to identify those things next page next page next page see education then education and training then engineering design then you are getting engineering student european evidence based practice education template game design heuristic rules on health literacy healthcare now if you want to make this one health see this is healthcare this is health literacy so healthcare librarians and information so this one is health literacy also for this one kelham just close it and change this one kelham so where is kelham 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 Okay, open this one and in the abstract so this is the keywords healthcare and at the same time you write h e a l t h health literacy and save it once you save this one go to subject bibliography again format paper sorry not format paper just only the subject bibliography. subject bibliography go to the keyword okay select all okay and here now see this one that is print preview so go to that particular place that is the health literacy now see health literacy for health literacy we are getting two things one is for kelham another one for this one because this is the healthcare so there is one keyword with healthcare so that's why it is coming but at the same time this is the in health literacy so for both the articles health literacy is keyword the same keyword so that's why two articles are coming together so this is what you want to do so and you have to do this one that is this is what where you can actually now see this one that this article was published in the year 2014 this article was published in the year 2020 but both are having the health literacy in their in their content so that's for why these two articles are having the relationship so while you will be paraphrasing this one you will be writing the content of this article so you will understand that one these two articles are having some bit of relationship and from these two abstracts you have to identify the code that is what so you can change that one later so this is the very perspective of this one so what right now you have to do that is from Mendeley or rather any cases you just down, collect all these things any places you just collect that one that is the references along with that one the abstract and export that one in the RIS format and import that one in the head note and only thing is that change that one so change the keyword 
or rather the keyword if that is what important thing is that to mentioning the keyword now see information literacy this is one so this is information literacy and in this place keyword is information literacy this is where this is also another one now see here the information literacy is there but they haven't written information literacy so write that one as okay i n f u r m a t i p i o n information literacy so one now here you see the recent trend in information literacy so save it Now here you see recent trends in information and literacy, but nothing is there. So write information literacy. I N F R T I O N T E R A C Y. Now you can ask me that one. Is it like that? I can write the keyword um, anything of my own, but no, it's not praiseworthy to write anything. Only thing is that whenever you are getting these things, so first some yes, yes, I have to say information. Now see this one, 24th century learning. So there is nothing. So information literacy is there. So but in keyword, nothing is there. So write information literacy. Okay, save it. Now here you see information literacy. You can say. Is it right that all the cases I will write information literacy? This is my term or this is my topic. But apart from information literacy, you can identify some of the <coughs> core points also from the abstract. This is you see information literacy studies is now in the library and information science. So this is also one keyword. So now you can go for this one writing. This thing, the keywords here, this is nothing. So write control V. Now write Avian information science. Then second, that is IUN for literacy and sell it. And then you see information literacy collaboration. Go to the abstract again. There is no such abstract, but you know in title information literacy is there. So you can safely write that one information. Now self-directed information literacy scale. So see here, assessment, confidential factor analysis. These are the keywords given by the author. Now for your own purpose, you can write this one of your own just to group this one you can even change that thing and you can write that is self-directed learning theory and self-directed information literacy so you can go for that one self-directed information literacy that is information l-i-t-e-r-a-c-y self-directed self-directed information literacy now information literacy Overcome abstract. Faculty, librarian, students have yet to embrace the attitudinal change necessary for making information literacy and resource based learning together a priority and reality in higher education. So, here the keyword is now see the faculty, librarian. So, this is what information literacy and higher education. So, you can write that one information literacy hyphen this is for your own grouping this is not actually the grouping by the keyword now a baseline of information literacy assessment so go for that that one keyword that is information literacy hyphen Assessment, save it. 
Now see this one participative dimension of information literacy. Now you see information literacy is there. Social learning is there. Participative dimension. So check it. Information resources, practices, while the social collaboration, information literacy. Forget about all these things. Information literacy hyphen collaboration. Sorry. Collaboration. Now see information literacy and IT. So information literacy. Literacy hyphen ICT or IT, whatever you want. You can write that one of your own. Now see college student engagement surveys, implications of information literacy. This chapter describes the library use and information literacy behavior. Information literacy behavior. So okay, then go for this one. Keywords. Information literacy hyphen behavior. Sorry. So I'm just showing you the examples and at the same time now come to the subject bibliography and go to the this one that is your keywords. Okay, now click okay. Now select all. Select all and click OK. Now see here, health literacy is two. Now here you see, you will see that one, layout, layout, author, title, terms, uh, repeating subject terms. OK. Now page layout, Tohama, 12, footer, center, bibliographic level is not required. OK. So this is what print review. Now here you see, we you made so many things regarding information literacy. Just check it. I. I check. H. Okay, this is H. Now H. Now see information. You are getting information. And then you are getting information and communication technology. ICT. Then you are getting information literacy itself, one. Then this is two, this is three, this is four, this is five, this is six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. Now see internal information literacy assessment. One, information literacy behavior, information literacy collaboration, that we made just now, information literacy, higher education, information literacy, ICT. You can club that one with the previous one, ICT, then information skill. So once you will standardize this one, that is this thing, information literacy and its sub facets. So it will be easier for you to narrate the development of the subject. You can say that one information literacy behavior or information literacy assessment. The first will be information literacy, then will be the information literacy behavior. Information literacy assessment will go the go at the last. This is what this is actually a kind of arrangement of ideas from simple to complex order. That is the we are following here again the Ranganathan's principles. That is how you will be arranging the ideas. So. If you, if you do this way and ultimately what you have to do, that is now I'm rather closing this one. And then you save this file in the desktop, save it. Now close this one. Now close this one and close and at the same, okay, closed. Now open this one in Microsoft Word. You know this one, this is the reference list, delete this thing. And I'm just going to the very portion of information literacy. Not doing all such things, so just going, showing you that one, it's okay. 
information literacy delete it now you got that one information literacy bold and here you do not require all such things so this is the abstract now here you see you can write like this way information literacy change has evolved with the changes in life lock learning okay left lock learning analysis this is the assessment here also the assessment okay the information literacy and go through it that is information literacy perceptions okay the perceptions librarians must help the students must develop ability line okay information literacy information literacy helps students help students in their efforts librarians or researchers can act as gatekeepers for information research groups and this one who stated this one right here bracket go for alvarez mdca at all control c test it here give a comma 2014 close it close it oh sorry so stop and delete this one there is no such need for this one again so now now see this is the second article on information literacy and this is a health libraries so this survey was conducted that one and what was the result that is the result is provision of information is so, sir. okay now go for this one so change it click this one control x and right here copy this one control x paste it here do this thing and give a comma okay now there is no need for this one so this is how you know, Uh, abilities information literacy you may have to change these words again because these are rather the copying of this one but you have to change the, you have to find out now see two things you already got this one by this fellow and this particular one by this fellow so, okay so this is not required at all and then you are getting that one information so bridging the gap between theory and practice now what they are saying that the information literacy conceptual the panelists presents findings their research and young users knowledge and competence of information varied information the ultimate goal of the panel is to concern on the future agenda for that one gap between so this is nothing so you you have to go for this one so no such thing is there now information literacy literacy was well thought on the surely fine however it has been argued that digital world information literacy so obviously change the thing that is control x but bring it this place because it is the notice not enough information literacy this is the beginning sentence and at the same time this is given by bushman b at all control c here you write this one which man give one bracket and after that all give a comma ring 2009 bracket close stop and then bring this one so which man so this one is no longer required you can say that one this is the starting of bushman 
so information literacy okay now go for that one heuristic evaluation and information literacy game among many information literacy games so this is rather information literacy game so this study adopted the heuristic evaluation so you can write here that is um, information literacy can also be measured with measured with heuristic probability network measured with control C control V framework who stated this one it's stated by this fellow Guo. Just see Guo. Control V comma in the year 2016. Two fellows are there. Guo and Go. G-O-H. In 2016. So you are just highlighting the very point that is this one. At the same time, you can write your own words also. So framework and heuristics. We propose to extend this one. That's okay. So it's over. Now in this case, so this is how you have to you have to write your you have to arrange your literature review and you will see that what it will ultimately you have to go for two or three times you have to go through it you have to change the words you have to change the concepts you have to rewrite but these things will remain same at the same time you will understand that is after completion you will see this is helping you a lot that is as because all articles having the same theme are rather clapped together all these articles so only thing is that you have to identify the core points of this one the core and then you have to arrange that one there and with after arranging also or after taking all these scores you may have to rearrange the concepts that is of manuki this one may go to the beginning this one may come to the end so this is literature review some bit of you say scholarly process so by this way, you have to do your literature review. But this will be not by this way, you have to do your literature. By this way, you may do your literature review. And this will be helpful so far, I do think. And this will be, this will be I give you some bit of uh, understanding also. That is OK. This way, this one is going. And if you study after writing something, you don't read that one just instantly on that time so keep that one left for one or two days then reread that one you will understand whether there are the grammatical mistakes or whether you are getting any kind of blockade whenever you are going through it whether there is a gap in ideas so this is the important thing that is the most that is the way by which you can do your literature review so okay so might be you understood something might be you didn't understand something but did you get what i told you yes, yes sir yes will it, will it be helpful for you or rather this is what Actually, in Mendeley, you are storing your information, but you are not actually doing this thing. So, only thing is that you try to use, see, what one rational animal should do. Human beings are the rational animals. The one rational animal will do the maximum with the input of minimum. And almost all the things he will do in his brain. That is the main thing. Now, whatever the armors you already have, use those armors. And with those armors, 
put your intellect with that one so that it won't be there very much taxing for you to do everything manually. That is the goal of doing that, all such things. Okay, so if you understood that one, it's okay. Very good. Now, it's time. So do you go for the research today again? Or you want to drop? Jaydeep. Sir, uh, as you want, sir. Huh? Sir, you have to do it. No, no. No. Amar bhalo mane kora, amar bhalo mane kora khud gol mele. Ami kakhon ki bhalo mane kori, she dinish tamra kakhon o tel pa bende. Sheta hoteche khud gol mele apna. Sheta hoteche ami amar ma tona ami ja ichche tai jok jatokhon kushi bagor bagor kothte bari. Sheta na. Prashna ta hoteche je khabar, ebang onik khabar. Dutor modde tapatachche. Ebar. আমার কাছে কথা হচ্ছে আমাদের সব সময় বলা হচ্ছে যে পেট একটু খালি রেখে খেতে কেন পেট একটু খালি রেখে খেলে তাহলে অ্যাপেটাইটটা ভালো হয় তাহলে আবার খিদে পায় আবার সুন্দর করে আবার নতুন করে খাওয়া যায় কিন্তু আমি যদি একবারেই গলা পর্যন্ত খেয়ে ফেলি তাহলে বড় অস্বস্তি হয় এদিকে কাত হতে ওদিকে কাত হতে ভীষণ রকমের সমস্যা আমার জানার যেটা ইচ্ছে সেটা হচ্ছে যে তোমাদের পেট কি একেবারে আট পেট অবস্থায় তোমরা আছো নাকি মোটামুটি ভাবে আছে যে অল্প গ্যাপ যদি আট পেটা থাকে থাক হয় তাহলে পরে আমি আরও কিছু খাওয়াবো আর যদি আট পেটা না হয় তাহলে পরে আমি ছেড়ে দেবো স্বাগতা এই মেয়েটা চুপ করে বসে থাকে ঘাপটি মেরে কিছু বলে না তারপরে মাঝে মাঝে ইয়ে খুলে মাইক্রোফোন খুলে কি কি একটু একটু বলে আর সব কিছুতেই সো তোর বক্তব্য কি স্বাগত খামরাই তো তোর কি 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 তোর ইচ্ছে বলবি কি বলবি না এক মিনিটের ব্রেক আরে এক মিনিটের ব্রেক মানে কি মানে এর পরও নিতে পারবো আপনি কিছু বললে মানে এখনো ট্রাভলো The more trouble will come, the more you will learn also. If you do not face trouble, you won't learn. And I require you invite trouble. Because we are rather the people who can solve that issues. I'm also there and other fellows are also there. So any trouble can be resolved with proper attention. So that is not a big deal. But you invite problem, you invite problem, you dig into it. and use it because these are rather the demand of the time that is one researcher must know each and every tool available surrounding him specifically the software tool and he or she must be mastered with that and mastered means what a good command with that one so this is the very required required thing as for example you see i didn't learn computer in any established institution but i am doing computer from two 2000 sorry 1998 and practically speaking many a times i spent with the computer for more than 14 hours a day and right now all the different websites our departmental websites my personal websites everything whatever you was seeing that when i developed everything of my own i learned that one everything of my own right now i am that going with the python languages and previously i did something with the delphi so It's a passion. So computing is rather a kind of passion to me. But at the same time, I do not think that when computing is that much of important for the library and information science, the way they see. 
this is my passion this is my business so in librarian information science we have to promote that particular subject that is the librarian information science but at the same time we have to emphasize that one each and everyone must know the right tool for the right time for using that one in the right time and that is the goal and that's for why i believe in digital sociology i believe in sociology of information i believe in usage of effective usage of the digital tools in communication or librarian information science but i do not want to overpower librarian information science with the help of ict or like that so a kind of balance must be there and that is what you must know that tool nothing is beyond of your capacity you people are smart enough you people proved yourself so that's sort of why you will always be able to accelerate up if i can get that one at this very age so i can i can i can deal with all such things you people are rather the budding people so only thing is that you just have to imbibe yourself you have to give some kind of impetus on you and you have to encourage yourself that is we can do that one also so once you will do that one you will understand you will have that capabilities you will like to understand that one and for that one you require to know what one particular thing can do what i will be saying you that one now so no problem so once you will get that thing and then try to make your hand dirty with all such things because there are so many rags available to wash your hands there is no such problem at all okay so i think it is the right time not to tell anything regarding research right now okay why because if i say that one these two things are totally different in research the theory what i am rather ready to say to you that is something of cognitive okay and this one is the practical one or rather you can say experimental or implementative so these two things should not be matched if you require tomorrow tomorrow you actually i think my class is tomorrow you know yes uh, today i actually, so why you people didn't say me that one that is my class is tomorrow today today tapan took any class no sir hmm no no okay but um, wednesday was his class no budhbar ki tapan er class thake उटिंग research methodology and the theory building in research is it okay okay sir okay sir okay tomorrow again sir ha huh? sir so, computer paper ta uh, practical hai to theory computer er paper ta hocche puro puri practical रेकर्डेड मोड टू माइ email or rather you can upload that one in your drive so that i can download that thing and see this is not theory computer is not theory computer literacy this is a practice one and another paper that is also the practice so the advanced tools and techniques jeta ache topon porabe jeta setao kintu practice theory hocche shudhumatro amar paper ta रिसार्च मेथोलॉजी एट थियोरि थियोरि अनदार थियोरि इज दरपि से थियोरि क्लस मेटेरियल तुरा पासीस मानी तोरा जी हमारे यूट्यूब चैनल ढुके
ডিপার্টমেন্টিপার্টমেন্টেন্টেন্টেন্টেন্টেন্টেন্টেন্টেন্টেন্টেন্টেন্টেন্টেন্টেন্টেন্টেন্টেন্টেন্টেন্টেন